Good morning, everyone. It feels nice to finally be reunited after a long, rather extended break, finally. I guess it's reasonable to say that our current arrangement for graduation is a first. So, from whatever corner of the world you're watching this, whether it's on an internet live stream from the comfort of your couch, the inside of your car, or a seat approximately six feet away from me, I am honored to be speaking to you all today on behalf of MPA's class of 2020. I know, I know, we, we are making history. We were born and raised during one of the most politically heated eras in the world. The Facebook post, our seniors were born during the aftermath of 9-11, entered elementary during the recession, and graduated during the global pandemic, captures it all. I guess that's our equivalent to the, to get to school, I had to walk 20 miles and fight a bear spiel we keep hearing from our parents. The point is, no matter the conditions we are put under, we know that we can adapt, survive, and succeed again and again. When our senior retreat got moved, moved to Hollywood Park last minute, we still had the time of our lives go-kart racing and playing our gauge games. When our boys' tennis team ran short on players, they were all more than happy to participate in multiple matches to give everyone a chance to play. When we were cut short on time during play rehearsals, every single member of the cast and crew would stay hours on end to ensure we were in the best shape we could be for the opening at night. Not everything goes as planned. At MPA, when things wouldn't go as expected, we all made sure to turn our heads in the right direction. And as a community, we've all learned how to make do with that, what we have and work towards a solution. Now, I would like to tell you all a story that is heartfelt to me. When I was younger, my little cousin Troy used to live with my family. Troy and I were obsessed with watching movies and reading books. However, there was one story he would read over and over, one that I will never forget. There was once a little railroad engine in a station built for only pulling a few cars on and off the switches. One morning, it was waiting for its next call when a long train of freight cars asked a big engine to take it over the hill. I can't, that's too much of a pull for me, said the great big um, engine built for hard work. Then the train asked another engine and another only to hear excuses. In desperation, the train asked the little railroad engine to draw it up the mountain, down and on the other side. I've never been over the mountain, the little engine said, but I think I can. As it went on, the little engine kept bravely puffing faster and faster. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. As it neared the top of the mountain, it, meant, it went more slowly, hauled back by the train's weight. However, it still kept saying, I think I can. I think I can. It reached the top by drawing on bravery and then went down the mountainside, congratulating itself by saying, I thought I could. I thought I could. So, class of 2020, I want you all to do something for me. Oh. <laughs> Close your eyes for a few seconds. Now, think about your last four years at the academy. The highs and lows the boring and exciting, the failures and successes, and the people who were with you all through it. Now, open your eyes. High school hasn't been the smoothest ride. We've gone through breakups and makeups, failed some tests, but also passed some. We've lost games and won tournaments, broken bones and healed them back. And we can't forget, we had to make the grueling walk up all of the Hanson Hall stairs. But no matter what we face, we came out stronger and more resilient. I am proud of all of the things we've accomplished academically and personally. But most importantly, you have all taught me valuable lessons and have made an indelible impact on my life. As James Lane Allen once said, adversity does not build, char it does not build character, it reveals it. To my peers sitting next to me today, adversity has shown me how strongly connected we are to one another. And no matter the distance, six feet apart or hundreds of miles away, we will always be there to support one another. Like the little engine that could, the class of 2020 has taught me that we can do anything. I embrace the strength of perseverance of all my peers during these trying times, and it has been courageous and enlightening. But we will continue to face adversities, 
and they will come in all different shapes and sizes and forms. Some may be as large as mountains or hills, and others more shaped like the speed bumps on 112th. And there will be times that we will genuinely believe that adversity has gotten the best of us. No matter how big the hill is, or how heavy the train cars are, there is always hope. And there will always be people there for you along the way. Losing the end of our senior year to a virus is an experience that we will never forget. But one thing this has made apparent to us is that often things don't go quite as planned and there will always be difficulties and obstacles that we have to overcome. It is how we handle disappointments and challenges that will determine our experiences and memories that we walk away with. How we react to cho and choose to fight adversity is dependent upon ourselves. Change is often brought about through the help and faith of other people, our communities. As a member of the MPA community, I am proud to be among the most unique, intelligent, and open-minded people. One moment I can't forget is from sophomore year. In the cold March weather, our entire school walked out to commemorate the lives lost during the school shooting in Park in Florida. We talked about the importance of gun safety and school security and started a petition of our own to advocate for our, our own students' protection. Not one MPA student was afraid to speak up about this issue because we all know and stand for what is right. One thing that I have learned from my four years of NPA is that we must speak up and use our voices for the greater good and use our different platforms, whether they be friends, children, parents, or students, to help change the views of the world. Only by standing in solidarity with one another we will create a better and safer tomorrow. There is no easy way to talk about discrimination and equality and no easy way to fix it. Instead, there are many different ways to do something about it and thereby bring about change. Many of us have experienced discrimination and we must normalize the conversations around it. The most powerful tools that we have in our arsenal are our words. So keep educating yourself, keep fighting, and keep the hard conversations going because they're always the ones that are worth having. So as you go forward in our life, do so with an open mind and a full heart and be ready for whatever the world throws at you. The way we use our words in education is upheld by those surrounding us every day, especially those in our MPA community. The experiences and opportunities MPA has given us have helped shape us into the people we have become today. And for that, I'm forever grateful. To our teachers, faculty, and staff, where would we be without you? You're the ones who support us no matter what. We see all the sacrifices you make towards our education and growth. To the maintenance crew and the dining staff, dining hall staff, I'm sorry, who make sure that our classrooms stay clean and our, and our lunch plates are filled with the best chicken tenders and cookies. Thank you. To all of the administrators that fight to make MPA a better place. Thank you. To Miss Sandy, who overlooked all the times we came scrambling through the door and running into advisory. Thank you. And especially to every teacher who has forgone family time, after school time, weekends, and summers to ensure we learn to our fullest potential, thank you. I am so grateful that we've had the opportunity to know you and have your support, especially when we needed it most. As I recognize the impact of my MPA family, I would be remiss not to acknowledge our own families, our parents, siblings, grandparents, cousins, aunts and uncles who are family friends but are close enough to be considered family, you guys get what I mean. You are the people who helped instill the values we carry with us today and have guided us to figure out our true identities. Thank you for demonstrating to us all what unconditional love is. Thank you for supporting us as we often stumble to find our path, but most importantly, thank you for cheering our successes, giving us a shoulder to cry on when we needed it, and providing us with a soundboard for all of our crazy ideas. I'm sorry, I need to take a... Now, I would like to thank my own family. To the Ocampo Villa Flores in the Philippines and the Catanis in Lebanon, thank you so much. With everything currently happening in the world, we can't see each other right now. But know that I miss you all so much and I'll come home soon. <sighs> my sentiments towards my immediate family are best described by author Malcolm Gladwell. 
No one, not rock stars, not professional athletes, not software billionaires, and not even geniuses ever make it alone. To my sisters, Nicole and Simone, and my brothers, Julian and Nick, to my Tita Dahlia, Miss Barb, my dad, and especially my mother, I'd like to say this. I would not be standing here today without your love and support. You've all sacrificed so much in your own lives to help me achieve what I have. Thank you for believing in me. By holding my hand these last 18 years and knowing that you will always be by my side as I cross this new street, I am prepared for what is yet to come. A wise man once said, the richest man in the world is one surrounded by friends and family. And in these four years at Morgan Park Academy, you've all made me feel like Jeff Bezos, minus the 11.2 stake in Amazon. As we grow up and go forth to fulfill our destinies, we must not lose sight of the things we truly care about and never stop listening and growing. Class of 2020, remember that we are only ending a beginning we are just starting to find ourselves and our purpose in life. And no matter what path you take in this maze, never stop growing and most importantly, helping one another. MPA has prepared us to be ready to step out and claim our place in the world. And for the last four years, we've been telling ourselves, I think I can. And now we can proudly say, I thought I could. So thank you a lot for allowing me the opportunity to speak today. Congratulations, class of 2020. We finally did it.